Welcome to What Are We Playing This Week, the show where I'm gonna recommend to you some games based on a certain theme that you can play this week or whenever you want to. On this edition, it's all about sports, but not actual sports, because actual sports are something you could do by just going outside and doing it. Or not even going outside, you can stay indoors and play sports. So why even play them on a computer? No reason, no reason whatsoever. So these games are sports games that you can't actually play in real life. Either because they would be too expensive or because they are a physical impossibility at the current time. Which makes them oh ever so fun. The first one I'm gonna recommend to you is Super Bowl. I first played it about two years ago when it was still in testing and it was free back then. But now I see that it's on Steam on Early Access for 20 euros. This game is, if you will, a, a bit less violent version of Ball Run from Unreal Tournament 2004, where you only have one gun that shoots the ball, but can also shoot other players. Now that gun can also be used as a shield, not necessarily to protect yourself, but to deflect the ball. The result is a really fast-paced football game that you can play either against the AI or against other people, which was honestly quite fun to play, and it does let you just outright kill the opposition. Well, they won't be dead for long, they will respawn in a couple of seconds, but you do have a health meter you need to keep in mind when you play. The opponents tend to be sometimes a bit too eager with the whole shooting you in the face part. I should take a look at it again to see how it evolved after two years, and I probably will one day soon. Second game is a no-brainer, Rocket League. Ever since Roll Cage Stage 2 brought out that game mode where you could just play soccer, well they called it Rumble Soccer, it's football, the sport is called football, you could play football with a giant rock, which you moved around either by slamming into it or shooting missiles at it. Now I ask you, is that not where they got the idea for rocket powered battle cars? Super, no, rocket powered supersonic battle cars, which later became Rocket League? I guess it is, because it's kind of similar in many aspects. Still, Rocket League is an amazingly fun game to play, random as hell. If anyone ever says, well, it's all about skill, no, it's not, it's all random as hell, unless you can accurately project in your mind where the ball is gonna bounce constantly. If you can do that well, yeah, it's skill, you're also probably banned from every casino in the world. Rocket League is available on Steam right now for the price of 20 euros, which is just as much as Super Bowl. It's a very fun game with a lot of players, and I mean a lot of them. It even has crossplay with PlayStation 4, and I believe that the Xbox One version will get crossplay if it hasn't gotten that already. And lastly, on today's recommendation about sports games that aren't really about sports, but more about having fun in a game that's pretending to be about sports and it's actually about rockets, cars, guns and stuff, a lot of stuff, we have Blood Bowl. And I'm not really sure which version to recommend to you. I have the Legendary Edition, but there's a Chaos Edition and there's Blood Bowl 2 as well. And the second one doesn't seem to be, well, Blood Bowl 2, I mean, not uh, Chaos, doesn't seem to be all that well received by people so far. Most commenting that it doesn't currently have enough factions and that the gameplay doesn't really change that much from the previous versions, but the graphics are prettier and the matchmaking seems to be bloody awful. Well, the new version, the Blood Bowl 2 game, is available for the price of. <laughs> no, sorry, yeah, 45 euros. You can get it with the Chaos Edition for 50 euros, the Chaos Edition uh, by its own being 30 euros. And the legendary one being available for 20 euros as well. Man, am I glad the Steam sale is coming out soon because these games are goddamn expensive. I know devs have to eat, but my god, I'm from Eastern Europe. 20 euros is what we spend on food for a month. Not good food. And not a lot of it either. Well, that would be enough for this week. Tune in next time for more gaming recommendations, maybe with co-op games. As in games where you can yell at someone else because you failed and must vent your frustration upon another human being, even if it was all your fault.
enjoyed this show, hit the like button, subscribe and share it with your friends. Or, if you thought it was horrible, then share it with your enemies and make them suffer. We shall be your weapon of vengeance. But if you liked what you saw, you could, I don't know, maybe donate because basically YouTube is horrible at revenue by using the link in the description or just buy my book. It's a fantasy book about, well, a lot of stuff. I guarantee it won't suck and if it does suck you can find me here and complain about it.